Welcome to Sailing Saoirse. I'm Tegan. My parents sold our house, sold their business and bought a 38-foot island spirit catamaran with the goal to travel the world. Only problem is, it needed a complete refit. This is Colbin, my husband. Karen, my mom. Denver, my brother. And Robin, my dad. Together we make up Sailing Saoirse. After being in Bekwe for a few weeks and waiting for Colvin to finish his job and also waiting for a good enough weather window to cross up to Martinique, we finally were on our way. Because we've got the induction on. crossing between Bekwe and St. Vincent was manageable, it was very bumpy, but still very doable, we didn't feel unsafe at all. So that was good and we got it done in record time for Saoirse. We really were doing quite a speed for us. For us we felt like an absolute race boat going along at this speed which we don't often hit so it was really nice it was bumpy but the boat was managing it perfectly planning our trip from Bekwe to Martinique we decided we would be breaking up the trip and stopping at St. Vincent and St. Lucia along the way. We decided to try and get to the northernmost anchorages that we could and in St. Vincent that was Chateau Ballet. The anchorage itself was beautiful but the holding wasn't great and the bottom was really rocky, full of coral and you had to get really close to the cliff face to get shallow enough to drop anchor. We had anchored initially and we just dragged so the boat boys showed us over to another spot that they said was really good but it also came with its own problems. swing around a lot and we've got a huge rock below the boat that the boat boys said oh this is the perfect spot and it's 1.5 meters below the boat right now yet we are in 
five meters of water so you just have to really dive and make sure that you are in a safe spot all around your boat because you're constantly turning so a little bit scary but we will do anchor watch tonight One of the best baits in the world. So we're gonna rig him for dead tomorrow. We've got him on some steel trace. Look at the surgeon precision stitching. We've got him on a stiff rig. Look at that stitching. Let's see how it goes. It's probably not gonna last long. It's been so hard at it that he didn't even notice the boat was rolling around the way it is. We left St. Vincent at daybreak, hoping to get to St. Lucia just before dark. so close to shore to anchor and the shore is just a rocky mountain face with coral heads everywhere yeah it wasn't pleasant very roly and we all did anchor watch last night so all a bit exhausted but it's 50 nautical miles to our next destination we're going to stop at Rodney Bay in St Lucia before heading up to Martigal. weather was very overcast on our sail up had quite a bit of rain but it wasn't too squally luckily it was a very interesting coastline to sail up because it was very mountainous and you could also see the lava flow old run marks from the boat With the weather hanging around, all the boats that we had passed had very little sail out and we were all pretty much motoring up the coast. This Fram boat was very friendly and waved as they sped past us very quickly.
the St. Vincent to St. Lucia channel was also rough once again. We can never seem to get it right, but everyone seems to complain about the passage between the islands. Once you're in the lee of the islands, that's when you want a bit more wind and you really aren't getting it, so we had to start motors. And once again, Colvin didn't catch a fish. We are highly disappointed <laughs> at the stage of our journey. Our freezers are empty. Well, not empty. We've got meat, but no fish. And Colvin's excuse is there must be no fish in the Caribbean, which we are finding pretty hard to believe. After our night before in Chateau Bel Air and having a very rough roly night, it was really nice to get in to Rodney Bay and it was so nice and still. We had the most amazing sleep that night before heading across to Martinique. And we made it, anchored, dinners on the stove. That's <sighs> easy. Exhausted. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited that we made it on time for once. Uh, it was a push, it was a rush. But we came with those knots where when we most needed them, we had six knots. We had incredibly rough seas sailing from Rodney Bay up to Martinique. It was a little overwhelming at a stage. We had waves breaking over the front of the boat and that's when I start to panic. Sometimes it just all gets a little too much mentally and it's really, <laughs> really hard to contain the tears. But once you get to your destination, it's hard to believe that you've actually come through all of that. So it all washes away, but in the moment, it really is a little bit sucky.
we were officially in the French territory of Martinique and the best part is their really easy check-in system. Check-in is amazing in the French islands. All you do is take in your boat papers, your crew list with the passport numbers and you fill it in all yourself. You don't deal with any of the officials and you get your paper stamped and you head out. We went and checked in at Snack Bao Bao, which is in St. Anne's. We've just done the checking in. This is a little place where you just go in to the computer and check into the country. Thank you so much for watching with us. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a like and if you haven't already, and want to see more videos, please click the subscribe button.